Right then, guys, so I've just drawn this up, and it's going to be my air scoop. You have to print it that way up because otherwise, this will be in thin air. So I'll just turn it over. It's on the print bed now. If we look at the 3D printer, we can see it's printing away. There's the base it's working on, a bit there, and then uh, there, and in a moment going to be working up the triangles, triangular sides. Well, the artist cut an oblong hole in the bottom of the model and stick it up under. Should we go and look at it actually working? Why not? I've made it one millimetre thick. I don't want it, no point in it being too heavy. Let's just go and have a look at it, see how it's doing. Just building it up one layer at a time, going from one end to the other end. It's only a five minute print, so it won't take long. So that's going to go on the bottom of here and just scoop air in to the. Uh, I haven't shown you this, have I? Let me just put a light on a minute. So yesterday evening, just in case there wasn't sufficient air going out the top, I made a hole, cut these out like that, and you, it, whilst it looks horrendous, it is actually a, a grill in there, very fine mesh, which I cut out of this old kettle filter and just stuck it on the inside there. So now I've painted it black and it's not too obvious at all really so and it is tucked up under the wing so that'll let a little bit more air in or out it'll it'll scoop in the scoop it'll scoop in the front grill scoop in the scoop and go out through here and through the cockpit it'll blow back so hopefully that will work so the model sits up here on the hook and I've just lowered it down to work on it now, following the successful maiden yesterday. There we go. Right, so I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut a slot in there. I've masked, masked it so as I can draw on it. There's a piece of ply on here, can't go back any further than that. Actually, it's the right colour as well, won't want painting, that's cool. I'm going to come in about, say, there. Give me room to glue it on. Similar that side. Say about there. And then across there. And come on in a little bit there. Say about there. And that will give us hole let's just make sure oops let's just make sure yeah okay let's just cut that out now I'm not entirely sure what this is so I'm just gonna cut I think it's about 3 16th balsa yeah feels like it good okay so I'm gonna come in this will help with the cooling of the ESC which is it got hot so it's just the fourth item I've 3d printed for this I've got the machine guns the pilot the wheel hubcaps and now the scoop there we go now this holes inside the platform down below so that the air will go down through those holes a bit and uh, help to cool things so this is going to go on there now i don't want this balsa edge to be showing so i'm going to paint uh, the paint the wood just touch it in with a bit of white and that will um that will be okay be careful how i take it off the sides because it's tissue covered i don't want to lift it
There we go. Hole. We'll put that on there and it won't be noticeable at all. Uh, best way to fit that then is going to be probably just run some CA around. Because I'd like to I'd like to take off this glossy finish really, even if it's just the sides. Still think about that. I'm gonna dob some white paint on these edges and let it dry and then I'll stick it on and then we'll have a look at it. I think what I might do to stop it moving let's just put a bit of masking tape on there I think just to make sure it stays in best position possible and I can do that straight down nice and easy straight in there so I'll use a bit of CA run some along the back it might be easier just to run it down the inside like that turn it forward and then pull that off because I don't want that to stick to anything I'll just give that a quick buzz 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 and that should be pretty much stuck solid there we are that's pleasing isn't it yeah I'm just tugging at it that stuck okay because I, I cut off a little bit of the tissue paint not a brilliant finish on the knee by the way in fact it's terrible okay so that's it that's the air intake done so let's turn it around again and see exactly what it's going to be doing inside should really take the string off but I haven't so I've got the air intake is just here so it's going to blow lots of air in and it can only really come up these two holes well three holes where the ESC is and then from there it can come out of the top of the uh, hatch and um, or straight back and out through the uh, cockpit I've also given it some more side thrust. You can't really tell, but it's probably another degree. Still plenty of clearance on the motor. Uh, so we are good to give it another go, I think. And that. So, how do we get it back up to the sky for its storage? Oh, like that. And just tie it off. That can sit up there out of harm's way and we're good. There we are then guys. Uh, let's just take that off. She's ready for another flight. I've given it a bit of right thrust so next time I fly I can take off that a uh, little bit of right trim I put in and hopefully the cooling is okay now but we'll soon find out won't we. Thanks for looking in. If you're not subscribed get that subscribe button pressed. It helps with the analytics and helps to spread the word. Uh, okay, see you in the next one. Cheers.